Hello, everybody. Welcome to my new podcast, Global Citizen Life. I've decided to start this podcast to help individuals, small business owners, people that are in the high five to six figure income, diversify their life so they're not under the control of any one single government. And the reason I started is kind of my path that started 11, about 11 or 12 years ago now, when I left Canada. And I realized that I've always kind of thought that you had to be super rich to get out of paying all these taxes or the rich people get tax breaks or these large corporations um, pay very little taxes compared to everybody else. And they have more freedom and they can do more things. And, and over these years, I've realized that anybody can do the same things they do. You don't have to be a multimillionaire or billionaire it is very easy for us to diversify, and we should, especially with what's going on in the world right now. In the past few years with the pandemic, there's been people that aren't even allowed into their own country, even though they're citizens, Australia. Um, perhaps you're not happy with the government freezing your bank account because you've protested or you donated money to a protest and they froze all your assets. Good job, Canada. And also maybe you're just not happy with the rules and laws that they're changing like abortion rights in the United States, really? So I'm not here to debate any of those issues. Anybody has their own opinion on things, but there are many people in many countries around the world that are not happy with what's going on with their government and what their government's doing or how much they're increasing taxes. So if you've ever heard the saying, don't keep all your eggs in one basket, well, the same thing is with your life, your business, your bank accounts, everything. You do not keep everything in one country. It's just not a wise idea. Everybody, and I mean everybody, should have at a minimal one bank account in a country where they don't live. And it is not illegal to have an offshore bank account. The definition of an offshore bank account is having a bank account in a country where you do not live. It's perfectly legal. And it is a level of protection for you. If the government decides to change rules and freeze your account because you supported a protest, which you have the right to do, then at least if you have money in another account in another country, you can still pay your bills. You can still buy your groceries. You can pay your mortgage, those types of things. So absolutely should have another bank account somewhere. I truly believe everybody should have a second citizenship um, or residency. I've had dual citizenship um, residency. I'm working on a couple other residencies as well. They're all just options. If the pandemic or another pandemic hits or when, and they try to do lockdown again, at least I can still travel. As if I'm a resident in a country, I can still go there. I can spend three months, six months, nine months there, go somewhere else, head back to see my family, um, stay in different places. So I have more freedom. If we design our businesses right and register our businesses offshore, which again only means having it registered in a country where we don't live, we can pay 0% taxes, corporate taxes, 1%, 2%, 10%, 12%, depending upon what country that you have your corporation registered in. And then with those residencies where you're a tax resident, depending upon where you live, you can live in a country where you don't have to pay any taxes on income made outside that country. So if you have your corporation, your company registered in a very low or no tax country, you're not paying any taxes there. Then you're living in a country where you're not paying taxes in, in that country because you're not making money in that country, you are now living tax-free. And imagine what you could do with all your tax money. You could invest it in other things that will make you money, um, whether it's real estate, um, stock market, if you want to do that, cryptocurrency, if you want to do that, um, wine, fine art, jewelry, vehicles. I mean, there's so many things that you can invest in. And I am actually putting together a, a list that, that will be coming out soon. I think it's I can't remember now how many um, alternate investment opportunities there are that um, don't include the ones that that people don't um, usually think about. 
So you can take that money that you save in taxes, invest it in something else, live in a country where your money goes further because it's not as expensive uh, and diversify, have money in different bank accounts. So something happens, even if something happens with a bank and your bank card's not working, the machines, the systems shut down, at least you have, you know, another place where you can access some funds. So very important that people diversify their life, as I said, so they're not trapped or under the control of one single government. And that is um, a theory that you may have heard of called uh, the flags theory. So you want to have multiple citizenships and residencies. You want to have an offshore company. You want to have offshore bank accounts. You want to also um, diversify your investments, have digital currency, asset protection, and um, also some digital protection as well with things online. I mean, there's there's some very good hackers in the world that uh, steal people's information and we want to try to protect ourselves as, as best we can. So the reasoning behind my podcast has been my experience from the last 10 years of traveling to, I think it's been over 42 countries now, uh, learning about different residency programs, different tax incentives, different tax programs that are available. And a lot of times people say to me, well, Sally, what's, what's the best country? Where should I go? What's the best country to live? Well, it depends. What's the best country for you may not be the best country for me. There's many things to consider. Do you need to be in the same time zone for, uh, for your business, for where you're working? Do you want to be in the same time zone? Do you want to be close to your family? Uh, you want to be able to hop on a flight and be there four or five, six hours. Um, do you have pets? Most countries bringing pets um, is okay, but some, they may have to be under quarantine. You may not even be able to bring them. So for some, that may be another consideration. Do you want uh, extreme cultural changes? Do you want to live somewhere where it's hot all the time? I mean, there's so many questions that we go through. And so on this podcast, what I'm going to be doing is interviewing a number of people all over the world. Some of them will be immigration experts. So they will talk about the ways to immigrate, to get citizenship and residency in that country. Others are going to be international tax experts. If you want to move your corporation there, what's the best way? What are some of the tax incentives that they have for, for you? Other people are going to be just people like you who've done it. They've moved. They've said, I'm, I'm moving to another country. I'm going to get residency, citizenship. Um, they're diversifying their lives and, and they're enjoying life in another country. And now as people are being able to work from home, even though home doesn't necessarily be where, where their home actually is right now, uh, and we're seeing a lot more people wanting to, to relocate and, and they're not agreeing with what's going on in their, their home country. So hopefully with this podcast, it will give you a lot of information to help you uh, as we say, follow your yellow brick road to your ideal destination that's great for you so you can have the best life that you love and that you enjoy and that you deserve. So uh, I hope you follow along. We have our website, globalcitizenlife.org. Different social media channels are all the same. The links will be in, in all the show notes below. And uh, hopefully with all the interviews and people we follow, we can help you get to um, your Oz, following your yellow brick road and getting you to that destination that you like and make those decisions for you. So I, I look forward to um, hopefully talking with you guys in the comments. Um, asking questions. I'll do my best to try to answer everything. And I hope all the people that I interview and talk with will, will give you tons of useful information for you and help you make whatever decisions that you need to make that are best for you. So look forward to talking with you, hopefully seeing you and, and being in touch. Bye.